Upon arriving Bohol, we were greeted by the Department of Tourism. Our trip is gonna be a two-day trip wherein may kita nyo yung mga iba't ibang mga places as well as mga foods dito. Uh, first stop, we will be proceeding to the Green Thumb Restaurant. Our first location is a farm and is also a restaurant. Yung kanilang main product are the mushrooms. So meron silang mismong farm ng mushroom dito and ito yung ginagamit nila to make different kind of foods. Ayan guys, we will uh, harvest fresh mushroom. So straight from the farm. Ano kaya mas maga ano? Para mas type po itong Pipiraso lang tayo ng konti muna. Okay, let's try it. Decent niya. Wala naman, hindi siya kasing parang iniisip ko. Mabango parang bulaklak kasi pink eh. Try natin. Mm. Neutral lang naman yung taste. Medyo ba ano nga siya. Parang flowery ng konti ng pink. Pero ito pag niluto lang ito masarap ko. Mm. Fresh from the farm. Okay. Mm. Don't hurry up. Siyempre, they don't just offer foods that are made of mushrooms. Meron din silang iba't ibang klase ng mga foods na sineserve. I am inviting everyone to visit Green Thumb Farm. It is located here in Corelia, Sambong, Bukong. We are serving here the mushroom-based menu. So we have our special uh, mushroom sisig. We have the mushroom bulaklak, mushroom salad, mushroom smoothie. So we have also the mushroom dinakdakan, mushroom uba, mushroom burger, mushroom pizza, and a lot, lot more. So here in the farm, we have here the, ito yung ano namin, at first call. So we have there the, the mga manok, may kambing. So our production area ng mushroom, meron din kami. So we, we also have the garden. But unfortunately, after ng udet, hindi, hindi pa kami nakabalik na mag-grow. Pero paunti-unti, mabalik na po kami magpanim for the pig and pay ng fresh vegetables. We also have the lettuces, yung Eggplant, Ang aming second location na pinuntahan is the Santa Monica Church. Unfortunately, noong 2013 earthquake, it suffered minimal damage. But later on, it was declared as a National Historic Landmark. It's one of the few churches here in Bohol that is still intact and has undergone restoration. Halos lahat ng may kita nyo ay gawa sa kahoy at manumanong ginawa. Ang buong altar, even yung lectern or parang podium na may kita dito, 
it's really fascinating to see it up close kasi may kita nyo talaga yung detalye. They also have this museum wherein it houses the different woodworks of the locals. Some are even for sale as you can see. At dito rin nakatabi yung mga malalaking mga larawan ng santo that has been here for a very long time. On to our third location, kami naman ay nasa Asin Tibuo, wherein we are gonna be highlighting their way of making asin. Salt water for three months. Okay? So they will take it out after three months and then they will chop it. So ganito na yung resulta. Then they will have it dried. Sun dried. After drying, they are going to take it inside. Then they're going to stuck it here. Ito na, ito na yung stocks nila. Yeah. We're going to put this uh, coconut husk, no? Here. And then it burn. So no gun. Then they burn. You might wonder, anong role, no, ng coconut husk dito? The role of this is they're going to put it inside the filter, so. What's good about this trip is na highlight namin yung ibat iba mga lugar and yung mga process yung parang talang talagang dive in sa culture wherein alibawa yung nakita natin earlier yung pag-asin so hindi ko naman alam na mega ng process pala talaga so usually yung ginagawa nila is like parang five days straight nagbaburn yon yung ano yung mga hasin walang tulugan kasi kailangan nila bantay yung apoy So, sinusunod nila yung mga husk na binabad for 3 months sa salt water para makuha yung asin. So, parang there's this way of extracting them. So, ganun ka-complicated yung process. Alam mo ba, very salt up yung ano na yan. Salt out yung asin na yan. Maraming nag... Yung mga kaibigan ko nga, may mga kilala silang international chefs. Yan ang Talaga lang. nagpapabili pa sa kanila. So, hindi siya kinocommercialized locally? Hindi pwede kasi by law, kailangan, pag gagawa ka ng asin sa Pilipinas, merong iodine. Pero, so sila hindi nilalagyan ng iodine kasi nasisira yung lasa eh. So hindi nila pwedeng i-sell sa Pilipinas. Ayun, narinig nyo guys. Ayun yung process ng pag-aasin dito sa Paul. Kaya ang market nga, international. Guys, So, nandito dito tayo sa Hungus Bed and Breakfast. So, i-highlight natin dito on how to cook their way of cooking crabs. So, may kita natin yon later on. And our highlight here is the kagang, the the um, the, the land land crab. So, you will uh, we'll, we'll have the the show in a while and how 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 it goes and how 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 we cook uh, traditionally the the kagang. So, what we do is um make uh, this is the kagang trap. Bamboo. So this is the 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 old the, the newer um, version of the kagang trap. So that's that's how we do it. So we just pull the yung tang, yan. Tapos this is the the lock mechanism. So ganyan. So the the crab goes in here and we'll, we'll do it there. So pag 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 when 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 the crab enters here, he triggers the the lock ganyan. So they 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 cannot escape escape anymore. That's a rough way of doing it, Kenyan. Of course, we leave it overnight. Of course, the kagang will come up here. Then it triggers the the lock mechanism, so it goes like that. So, mayroon na kung nilagay kagabi. Tignan natin kung mayroon bang laman. Hindi hindi naman po. Malaki siguro ito malatit. Oh, malaki. Ayaw. Yeah, 
metal part, and Batero is the wooden part. So that's how they cook the Yes guys, ito na, luto na ang shokoy. Shokoy ba? Shakoy. Shakoy pala, shokoy. Shokoy, ano yun ha? Yung meal, uh, meal na mermaid. Okay, shakoy. So ito, nakita natin, pinirito siya, tapos after na fry, ayan, pinagulong sa asukal. So ito yung typical street food daw dito sa Bohol. So tikman natin. Mmm! Sarap ng dunya. Siyempre, yung may sugar, masarap lalo. Pero yung, ang sarap ng pagka-prito niya, ang lambot talaga. Siguro talaga, you need to eat this, yung bagong luto. Actually, kanina, nung no, hinawa ako, napakasok ako sa init eh. Kaya ito, tinidor ko. Pero, sarap niya. So, alam nyo guys, ano ka-partner nito? Si Kuate or Hot Chocolate. Punta tayo ron. Kuha tayong chocolate. Guys, so cheers. So ito, kapartner ng Shakoy is yung Sikwate. So cheers guys. Mm. Sakto yung chocolate. Medyo may pait. Hindi ko na nilagyan na actually ng asukal eh. Nasabi ko yung sugar na dito eh. Okay guys, enjoy the merienda. The uh, ingredients of our products are calamine, the coconut, glutinous rice, mascobado sugar, brown sugar, and then gina. So at first, soak the glutinous rice for at least one hour and then grind it. And then the coconut, just grate, then the grated coconut, just add water to produce coconut milk for two times, then the the first time that we that produce the, the, the coconut milk, then put it in the tarahai, then let it boil for at least 15 minutes. Then add the brown glutinous rice. And then just mix and mix until sticky for at least one or one and a half hours. It depends on the thickness of the glutinous rice. And then put the mascobado sugar and the brown sugar. And then mix again until it will cook for at least one or one half hours. Then, that's the result. Malinis na nakagag yung ano. Ilang pong pirato yun? 20 pieces ito. Na medium size. Kaya na naghintay na magsisimmer yan. ni Kuya Bartender ng uh, isang drink na refreshing pero virgin siya. Ibig sabihin, walang alcohol. So, tingnan natin ang creativity ni Kuya. Ayan, nilagyan ng ice. Tatlo. Tapos, konting lemon. Konting lemon. Yun. Yun na yun. Okay, mukhang nakukuha na ni Kuya na, na, na napipil niya yung ano ko na mahitig ako sa ka, lemon. Matamis na, sir? Ah, konti. Konti. Ayan. So, alam ni Kuya na mahitig ako sa maasim, sa matamis. 
Basin tsaka matamis. Oo. Oh. Huwag na natin alatan, sir. Ha? Ah. Yun, dalawang jigger ng pineapple juice. Ano tawag ko niyan, kuya? Mamaya, tatanong ko. Yeah. Ano ba yan? Batsyang ba yan? Or talagang meron kang plano dyan? Mix it up on the go. Ha? <laughs> Mix it up on the go na. Ayan, o, ayan na. Shinik na, shinik na. Shake na. Shake, shake, shake. Yun. Oo, oh, ano to eh uh, Drink challenge to Kumbaga, sinusubukan natin ng Bartender skills ni Kuya Sa mga hindi manginginom <laughs> Bartending skills hindi manginginom <laughs> Ano yon? Meron bang ganun? More ice pa Alam na alam ni Kuya na mahilig ako sa yelo Nakikita niya ang aking pawis At init Tama lang yung refreshing. Ayan, o yun. Tapos kailangan medyo bubbly. Ayan, bubbly, bubbly, ng... bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Soda water. Oh, pati sa presentation. O oh, yun. May soda water. Oh, Para medyo fizzy. Yun. Guys, o oh, yun. Ang ganda nung ano. Layer than drink. Okay na yan, okay. kuya. Layered. Okay na yan. Okay. O yun. Talagang may ano pa, may pautot pa. Ano yan? Ah, kala ko. Para sa, para sa bote po. Kala ko, sabi ko, psychedelic, may iba pang kulay. So, kuya, anong tawag mo sa drink na ginawa mo? Parang, ano Pangalanan lang? mo yan. Ha? Pangalanan mo. Parang citron bubbler lang, sir. Ah, citron bubbler. Okay, guys. So, ano pangalan mo? Jojo po, Jojo. Okay, ki Kuya Jojo, cheers. Patay ni Kuya Jojo ni itong, ano, drink. So, try natin. Mm. Refreshing kuya. Oh, ayos na po. Thank you, thank you. Afterwards, we were starting to see our food getting prepared. And after a few minutes, andyan na nga ang napakasarap na dinner. They offered a wide variety of delicacies from meat to fish at yung kaninang pinakita natin na kagang or the land crab. Siyempre, hindi rin mawala ang sabaw after a long day that was filled with experience. All of this while eating at the sunset here in Bohol. Overall, Bohol has a lot to offer. Sa mga places pa lang, the food, it was an experience na dapat nyo ring matry. But the journey doesn't end there. Tomorrow, mag-iikot pa tayo, so watch out for episode 2 of our Bohol trip.